Hello everybody, this is Kyoshi here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Hasbro Marvel Legends Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Marvel's one action figure. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, originally, I didn't plan to pick up this figure because I didn't really like the uh, costume. You know, no offense to Wong fans out there, but I, I just, I wasn't a fan of the costume. Um, of course, I haven't seen the movie. It's not released yet. Probably I will like it after I've seen the movie. But yeah, just based on pre-movie, um, I didn't really like it. But um, still, uh, I was able to find this figure at one of my local hobby shops for a very discounted price. I believe this was like $7.99, $6.99 or something like that. It was on sale. So I ended up picking it up. So yeah, let's start with the review. Um, let's take a look at the accessories. Wong does come with um, two magical effect or the hand pieces, just like uh, Doctor Strange. He also comes with one right hand that that can grab the um the sword um yeah like so i'm not gonna force it yeah like like so you got an idea and it comes a with a uh, ancient asian sword of some sort um there is some really nice design here it says kami right here like god and then there's some ancient logos i don't know what that is maybe um lions or dragons or um, tigers, I don't know what, what that resembles, but this is definitely Kami, um, like, God. Um, yeah, pretty cool, standard, but cool. Uh, in terms of the uh, Build-A-Figure piece, it comes with the left hand, uh, of the Build-A-Figure, uh, Build-A-Figure piece. So, yeah. And then now let's move to the Wan figure himself. Um, let's do a 360, um, very standard Marvel Legends. Of course, lower half of the body are basically, um, not much you can't really do much articulation with it it really hindered by the uh, by the robbery piece um the robbery piece is a little bit uh, it's a little bit soft but not very soft so you can't this is how much it can move forward um the more you, the, the further you go i think you'll tear this piece this part off um and here's a little bit like this i think this is the farthest it can move in terms of the lower half of the body and then there is a waist swivel. Uh, uh, however, there's no app crunch or anything like that. Uh, in, term, in terms of the hands, um, there's double jointed knees right here. Um, standard articulation here. Um, and here's the hand posture, the magical hand posture, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, every time I see the movie, I think this is the most, you know, sin signature hand poster of of one you know and um in terms of the rest of the costume like i said this i think this is really like asian chinese style maybe or or tibet style or indian style i don't know but uh i don't know something about this color combination i just didn't really like it. it it makes me feel like chinese opera you know like those very dramatic very extreme costumes that um not quite usual in terms of colors that in a traditional Chinese or traditional Asian uh, clothing. Um, you know, I think the color, it just, I don't know why they choose these color combinations, but yeah, never mind. Um, yeah, these are like armored pieces, I think, ancient armor pieces. And then they have some very nice uh, design here. Uh, you know, they, there's some design here um, that's interesting um yeah um and then in terms of face i mean the face is pretty cool you know uh, i think uh, it looks really much like the actor himself um yeah i, I, I think the face is like 90 90 percent accurate nine out of ten accurate um absolutely this is the um one of the best face scopes um the likeness to the actor for sure um however my gripe is um i think Juan is supposed to be a little bit bigger you know in terms of body mass wise i think this figure a little bit too skinny it's like the body it's all right but for some reason you know from the face and the neck it just slimmed like i don't know if he is a little bit wider in terms of face or the head size maybe it'll be more better proportioned i don't know it's just me or if you guys are feeling the same way it feels like he's a little bit too skinny um as compared to how he looks in the movie um but yeah those are minor gripes i think uh here's some armor design here those are all plated in gold 
like shiny gold very nice yeah overall i think this is a very standard marvel legends figure with very minimum articulations um the accessories are you know i think it's cool it's not wowing it's not there's no wow factors to it but it's all it's okay it's acceptable um they have decent face scopes at the same time you know it's not really hasbro's fault i just didn't really like the uh, whole costume design of this figure so um although i picked up this figure for a very good price but i still think um I, I don't know maybe i have to wait until i see the movie to like this figure um but yeah so here is my review of the hasbro marvel legends doctor strange in the multiverse of madness marvel's one action figure so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Bye bye